I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. We are cruising. This, my friends, is the second half of Tally's loyalty mission, the combat heavy section, if you will. And there are a lot of things that we will be learning about what happened on the Alarai. In the last episode, we saw that Tally was having a trial and that she was being tried for treason today we're gonna try to clear her uh and of course we kind of brought a geth an active geth with us when she's being accused of bringing geth on didn't really i'm sure this won't hurt our case anyways we will find ourselves right outside this where the shuttle guard is so we need to talk to them and this guy will lead us on over to the alarai Really, a Geth Talizora? The guards at the docking bay said. Don't worry, it's under our control. With luck, it will help us retake the Alarai. If you say so, per Admiral Aran's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Vast Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of Geth, though, more than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Well, it sounds like we're going to have quite a journey when we get over there, so let's just get it over with. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Keep us alive. And immediately we're going to find ourselves on the Alarai and right in front of us already we can see that there is a dead quarian on the ground. We're going to go ahead and make sure that Legion has his sniper rifle equipped because he should be able to get one shot kills on a lot of the geth we'll be encountering in this mission. We'll also make sure that uh, Tally has the geth plasma shotgun and yeah. we are also going to go ahead and equip that and get ready to rock and roll. So we do know that the quarian sent a marine strike team here none of them were successful this could be one of those marines or could be just a random person on the alarai a quarian scientist as we come into this room though immediately we're gonna see that yep yep it's geth all right we double checked and it's geth so we'll go ahead and charge knock out some of these there should only be four soldiers and it looks actually it looks like they did a fine job of taking them down so we can go ahead we can go ahead and loot. <laughs> I didn't. We can grab those power cells for 100 credits there. Over here, we can find a med kit for another 100 credits. And then in this corner over, excuse me, in this corner over here, we can find a laptop that has 1,500 credits and this one that has 1,800. We're already swimming in credits, my friends. I am not mad about it. And a quarian log so we can start putting the puzzle pieces together of what happened on the Alarai and whose fault is it? Something's slowing down the systems. We're taking down the firewalls to rebalance load distribution. Rail Zora ordered us to bypass standard safeties. Following security protocols will take too long. Huh. That doesn't sound good. It sounds like her dad was at least responsible for shutting down some of the security protocols. We saw that we get a prompt in this room, so we're gonna head on in, grab this 100 credit med station, hack this terminal for 4,200 credits. And there you have it. Easy peasy. Easiest money I ever made. And we have a, a little prompt here. This repair drone. Let's see what Tally has to say. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. Ah, where we met. Haystrom was a war zone. 
How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Hmm, how'd you get them here? How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. And why select this? What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order. Something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No. I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Well, I think the most important thing for us to do then is to find Tally's dad, and I'm sure if he's still alive and has made it, he might be able to uh, fill in some of the gaps. So let's use this room first, and we can hack this monitor here for a new research that we can grab, which you love to see. And just like that, we will receive a this? Geth Shield Strength. Hey, I'll take it. There also, right over here, is a Quarian Log and a dead Quarian. We can find out a little bit more about what else has been going on here. Who's running the system diagnostic? I didn't authorize... All of them. Rail Zora. Shut it down. Shut everything down. They're in the system. Yet again, another hint that Rail Zora may have been the reason for this. Approach another room here. Get ready for combat because as we come over, a Geth Hunter is waiting for us. We'll go ahead and melee it to death because we can. It'll. Who cares? You shotgun me? I don't even. Who cares? We can come over here, grab this laptop. That will have 2,100 credits. This one that has 1,800 credits. We are swimming in credits. Looks like a dead quarian under the desk there tried to hide from the geth. And unfortunately, there are no hide dead from geths. The, the. Anyways, uh, we could get this quarian log here. But first, let's bypass this wall safe for another 4,200 credits. Nice. And let's see what's going on here. Lockdown navigation. Weapons are offline. Our mistake won't endanger the fleet. Unfortunately, Jonah's mommy did not make it. Uh, keep that in mind, though, as we proceed into Mass Effect 3, because Jonah is will actually come up again. Obviously, his mom didn't make it, but Jonah's going to stay strong for daddy, right? Hopefully, we'll find out. Anyways, uh, that was kind of a hint that, uh, yeah, they, they whatever they were doing is what caused this. So it's not Tally. We know that now. It was whatever they were doing. They broke the boundary. So we are going to charge this way. We're going to immediately take down this Geth Trooper, even though there's a hunter here. And the reason for that is because if we come over here, we actually only have to deal with one. Well, I apparently can't hit it, but we only have to deal with one Geth Hunter, which is huge. We'll go ahead and charge this one, uh, getting our shields back and taking those down. If you don't charge there or cloak over or do anything that will allow you to get into this room quickly, you're actually going to be dealing with a few different waves of hunters. So as a vanguard, we could just cheese it and ignore it. Something that I will say is that we can get that medkit hunter credits. We can also get this 2000 palladium. You don't really have a great place for cover because hunters will push you. So what you can do is you can actually set your, your squad down oh, there. And then what you'll end up doing is kind of coming in here, triggering them, running to these stairs. The rest of the troopers will stay. You handle the Geth Hunter, and you can kind of do it that way as well if you are playing something that's not a Vanguard. You can kind of you can kind of cheese it by going down those stairs. This is a tough room to deal with. Anyways, we have another wall safe we can bypass for 3,000 whole credits. You'll love to see it. And we have yet another a wall council console here. Let's talk to Tally. This one's probably going to be a big one. 
This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoner Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Sure, but that was also before we found Legion. Do you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Hmm. And anything useful from this data? Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? You know... Maybe the idea of heading back to their home is not, not a great one. Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tally. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Then I think it's time to find another place. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. I mean, she's not wrong, but also that was intense, like camping or the circus. Anyways, what I love about Mass Effect 2 is that you have two really huge philosophical questions. The Quarian versus the Geth is definitely one of those, as well as the Genophage for the Krogan. Do you cure it or not? Like, these things are so cool, and I, I just don't know of a game that's introduced something that's so, like, not very clearly good or bad, right? Like, there's no right answer in this conflict between these two. There's no right answer. Anyways, I just love that. If we proceed forward, my friends, I'm about to show you some straight up cheddar. So this is straight up just pure cheese. What we can do here is we can send a drone over to where this Geth Hunter is targeted. We have this room, this two tier room here. We can send a Geth drone and that's going to stop more waves from spawning. Cool, you think? Well, there's another way. We can skip this fight entirely. If you're a vanguard, you can charge. It'll start a cutscene. If you're an infiltrator, you can cloak. If you're a soldier, you can adrenaline rush. If you're the other classes, you can do stuff. Uh, if you can stun them and run forward, you can ignore this entire fight. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn this drone in, and then we're going to charge, and I hope you guys are ready for some mozzarella. Let's do it. And we'll charge. Or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me to... Hey, hey, hey. Come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe, 
he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. job of keeping it together after finding that her dad is not only dead, but also responsible for everything that happened here. He knew you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we are ending this. Yes, we absolutely are. It is time to end this, get the Alarai back. But of course, we can back up here and grab this for 1,800 credits. This is the room that we skipped by charging our way in, which isn't that so cool? Wasn't that some, wasn't that some straight up cheddar cheese? Oh, I love it. Anyways, uh, so we want to go ahead and grab all of these that we can. We grab the med kit for 100 credits. We grab those two laptops. There's nothing on the top floor, so we don't have to worry about that. And we can check out this quarry and log, which would have given us a little bit information, a little bit more information before we found her dad's body. First entry. Our hacking attempts failed. The Geth have an adaptive consciousness. Hack one process and the others autocorrect. Still, we're making progress. Rail Zora is convinced we'll have a viable system in less than a year. This weapon will put our people back on the homeworld, and it's all because of Rail Zora. I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta go for big prizes. Uh, you'll get big losses. But that prize would have been huge, single-handedly saving the Quarian race. Anyways, we can find this little room here with two bodies inside. We can find that med kit for 100 credits, these power cells for another 100 credits, and this wall safe that we can bypass for 2,700 credits. Which again, the more money, the better off we're going to be because we still have some final shopping we could do and a bypass this one here for another 1500 credits. The bypassing goes so fast and I love it. Anyways, we'll get, grab those 1500 and continue on to one of the last rooms that we're going to be in. This one, we're not going to be able to cheese as well. So what we're going to do, strategy-wise, is we're going to put yes. our team of Tally and Legion into cover here. They're going to get behind those de uh, those desks. We're going to start charging up our shotgun here so that we can come in and immediately, hopefully, we can uh, start... As soon as we can, there we go. And then we're gonna hack this one as well. So we hacked both that she that um, that trooper and that Geth hunter, which are then going to inevitably turn on this Geth Prime, who then we are also going to turn on. And unfortunately, Tally going down there, but that's all right. Go ahead and charge here. And all we have left is a Prime. It looks like the hunter actually was able to take down our friend legion and tally which is a little embarrassing for them honestly we'll go ahead and charge this guy primes are nothing against vanguards it's one of the reasons why i love playing a vanguard and there we go he is fried so we can go ahead and grab the model flotilla ship which is going to look beautiful in our captain's quarters grab this last laptop for three thousand credits those are the only things that we can grab we have now received everything from this mission. So, my friends, we are done. Let's go ahead and get our evidence and uh, prove that Tally, Tally Zora Vasnima is not guilty and not a traitor. This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. 
I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guess with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. Well, he tried. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the admirals, not anyone. Listen, that's not the best idea. Real Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. All right, well, I mean, she's made it up. She would rather be exiled completely than to to dishonor her dad. I'll take We're it. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. And we'll find ourselves back, and it looks like the trial we need to face has facts. already started. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. We must trust Shepard's offer of assistance. It's only been a few hours. The Corian Marines lasted less than five minutes, Admiral. Call it. A pity Shepard passed on with you as a better speaker than a soldier. I recommend you pass it. Not if I can help it. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. <laughs> she sounded so badass when she said that. Tali Zora Vas Normandy saved the Alarai. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? All I'm saying is if you decide to give them the evidence that condemns her father, after he's dead, after she's begged you not to, you're a goddamn monster. Uh, but I will show you the footage for that. We have some really cool options here. Because we've been so thorough and because this has been a 100% playthrough, we have the option to rally the crowd. That is because Vitor survived Freedom's Progress. That is because Cal Rieger survived uh, Haystrom. That is because we talked to all of the admirals to hear what their what their viewpoints were uh we now have this option because we were so gosh darn thorough and that my friends is definitely the option we're gonna go with i don't need evidence the intimidate the renegade those are fun those are cool 
they're just a little too easy to get, if you ask me. So, my friends, we are going with Rally the Crowd. That is the way that is going to secure not only her innocence, but also her loyalty. So let's go ahead and let's see that. And then, uh, I guess maybe we can check out the less good options first. Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance. You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. Han Garrel wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Tali Zora is innocent. Rail's team deliberately repaired and reactivated the Geth as part of weapons research. Listen. Shepard, please. Tali, is this true? I don't know. My father had to have a reason. Leave Tali out of this. Assemble a new Geth with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. This evidence points clearly to Tali Zora's innocence in this matter. Thank you, Admirals. Rail Zora must be exiled posthumously for what happened on the Alarai, and his name stricken from all ships' registries where he served. Agreed. I would never have believed it, but... Agreed. Tali Zora, you're cleared of all charges. Charges against Rio Zora will be discussed privately. How could you do it, Shepard? I didn't want this. I didn't want my father's name destroyed. I couldn't let you throw away your life for a dead man, Tally. In all likelihood, we're not coming back from this mission. What would it have mattered? I know you were trying to help. I just... Let's get out of here. Your people were gearing up for a dangerous war, Tally. That evidence was necessary for them to make an informed decision. That whole situation was an unstable munitions factory, Shepard. And you just threw a grenade at it. It may be better when the smoke clears. Or it may all just be rubble. Look, I know it hurts right now, but when this mission is over, you'll be able to go back to your people. Who are you kidding, Shepard? None of us are coming back from this mission. We found nothing on the Alarai that we wish to submit as evidence. Tally? I have nothing to say. Then, with no further testimony, I ask those rendering judgments to do so now. Tali Zora, you are hereby found guilty of treason against the Quarian people and sentenced to exile. Tali Zora of us Normandy, you have six hours to leave. Would you like to request any personal possessions from the fleet? No. Thank you, Admiral. Everything I need is here. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora of us Normandy. Kill us alive. Well, that's that. I'm ready to go whenever you are. I did what you wanted, Tali. But I still don't agree with it. It's not what I had hoped for either. But the good of the people comes first. My father taught me that. 
Thank you for honoring my decision. It means more to me than... It means a great deal. It's strange. After I walk out of here, I don't know where I'm going. Do you want to talk to anyone before we go? Or get anything? We can say goodbye if you like. Honestly, I'm fine either way. And I'm not just saying that. This whole trial, the politics, my father, it showed me where I'm supposed to be. On the Normandy, helping you. And now for the good option. Yeah. Look at them, all of you. They don't care about Tally. All they care about is their war with the Geth. Tally risked her life for all of you. On Haystrom, hell on the Citadel when she stopped Saren. She deserves better than this. If Commander Shepard has no new evidence, I suggest we render judgment. Wait! Shepard is right! Tally saved me. She doesn't deserve to be exiled. Damn straight. Tally's done more for this fleet than you assholes ever will. You're pissing on everything I fought for, everything Tally fought for. So if you exile her, you might as well do the same to me. Me too. Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. And we have a little final statement to make. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Tali, about what your father said. What he did. You deserved better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Tally Zora, boss Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This is valuable. Yeah, it's valuable. We also get a tech upgrade that we can then research. 34 Paragon points. That tech damage is going to be real nice. Uh, and we can, before we leave and hit that, that O button, we can actually go around and talk to some people. And Vitor won't have much Admiral. to say. Vitor, I can't oh, believe you go. stood up and spoke for me. Oh, well... It's good Rieger was there. He said most of it. Vitor, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. And thank you, Shepard, for, for helping me and Tally both. Guess you just needed a pretty woman to help you feel better. Well, maybe. Good luck, Tally. And you too, Commander. I love that. So he'll actually only have that dialogue if you chose the rally the crowd option. So let's check with Zen, perhaps the most dangerous quarry in alive right now. Very impressive speech, Commander Shepard. But tell me truly, did you recover any of Rail Zora's research on the Alarai? Nothing that will help you, Admiral. Pity. Oh well. Whatever is created can be recreated. In any event, I am pleased that our talk regarding the war conundrum allowed you to help Tali. Her exile would have been unfortunate. You should abandon your plans, Admiral. They're only going to make the situation worse. We shall see, Commander. Many things are impossible until they are done. Also, if you've played Dragon Age, that is also the voice actor for Morrigan. One of the best characters in any game. She's so cool. And Cal Rieger, the bro himself. Oh, thank you. I can't believe you did that. 
You'd have done the same for me, ma'am. Figured I had to say something when you didn't use that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Kong. Noticed that, ma'am. What a good dude Cal Rieger is. What's your take on the war? Are the Admirals gonna try to retake the homeworld? I won't shy away from a fight, but if the Admirals throw the fleet at the Geth, all they'll get back is scrap metal. The best bet would be for us to find another way. But a soldier can't say unless his superiors ask. Any idea what your next assignment is going to be? Mm. I'm gonna be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. And finally, thanks for standing by me, bud. I appreciate your help, Rieger. I don't know what I would have done if you and Vitor hadn't stood up to help. I'm sure you'd have figured something out. Good luck out there, ma'am. Carl, just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. Absolutely big fan of that. And my friends, I think we might be hearing more about Cal Rieger and the Chlorians in Mass Effect 3, which I'm very excited about. So, let's go ahead and talk to Auntie Shalaran. The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. We found Real's body. He left a message for Tally. I can only imagine how horrible this is for you, child. But at least you got to hear your father tell you he loved you. Yes. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us a lie. Unless, of course, you're exiled, in which case it's not. And we have Admiral Gerbil here. did a fine job. Damn fine speech, Shepard. It's about time someone reminded Admiral Chorus that the woman he was accusing of treason was the pride of the fleet. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Now, we have the option of telling him everything that happened. He was Rail's best friend, after all, but because of his warmongering ways and the fact that he is also quite dangerous, we're going to leave this up to Tally. Tally, is there anything the Admiral should know? We found a lot of dead bodies, Admiral. Including my father's, that's all. Whatever research they were doing was destroyed. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well, and fly safe, kid. Your father would be proud of you. And there you go. And somehow, I don't know how this happened, but Admiral Chorus, my favorite Admiral, very impressive, Shepard. Thank you for your help on the Alarai. And thank you for helping Rail Zora's daughter. You stood for her when we failed. We were wrong to let our own concerns about the war overshadow Tali's trial. And we're going to leave him with a message as well. Hopefully having some ramifications in Mass Effect 3. Keep pushing for peace, buddy. The galaxy needs more people saying what you're saying, Admiral. Good luck. Thank you, Commander. No. Thank you, Admiral Chorus. I don't know how somebody that kind of came off as a jerk ends up being the one that I agree with the most. And, well, I hope we see him again in uh, Mass Effect 3. Spoiler. Yeah, me too. You're welcome. Anyways, we can also now talk to the captain here. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Congratulations, Talizora. I was skeptical about your choice in captains, but I see now that I was wrong. Thank you, Captain. I'm just glad that this is over. You'll always have a place on the ride, whenever you decide to come home. Good luck out there. All right. Thank you, Captain Cardana. Congratulations again. Thank you, thank you. And my friends, that is the end of Tally's loyalty mission. And my friends, with that, the mission is complete and you will get the treason trophy, which of course I actually already got because I had to do it for footage. Anyways, Tally Zora has been cleared of all charges and her trust in Shepard ensures her loyalty on the mission. Political ramifications of Quarian war efforts against Geth are troubling, likely to need Quarian forces against Reapers. Cannot risk additional instability, and for once, I actually agree with the elusive man. And we will get 937 experience, 
we get Tally's best power, Energy Drain. It's actually very good. Doesn't make her quite that good in combat. She's just not that good. But it is a much needed skill. We also get a new outfit for her. We get Geth Shield Strength, which is a squad member upgrade. It is not just for Legion. It is for everybody. It is 25% additional shield strength, which is awesome. We also get a tech bonus damage, which we will get if uh, we help out at all. They just give it to us. And, my friends, 45,000 credits, 2,000 palladium. Just like that, my friends, we are done with uh, Tally's loyalty mission, which means we only have one more, and tell us where that's from. Commander, Legion would like to talk with you. Yeah, exactly. It's from Legion. Anyways, let's go ahead and do these researches this is real quick, because that is just absolutely gnarly. We're going to go ahead, tech damage 5 out of 5. Let's go ahead and max that out. We can also get this Geth Shield Strength, 2,500 Platinum, so that's now ours. But we're not done until we go talk to Tally and see what she has to say now that we've finished that mission. It's also worth mentioning that uh, we do have that mission for Tally now, or for, uh, for Legion now, but I do want to say, if you are a male shepherd who is hoping to romance Tally, you should do this mission well before we did. Um, I believe I mentioned that. I hope, uh, because you need to talk to her a lot uh, to be able to get that romance, and she needs that loyalty mission done before she'll she'll agree to it. You should be fine. You should be able to lock it in now, so it should realistically be fine to do it now, but just in case, make sure you have laid the groundwork for that relationship before this. Anyways, let's see what she has to say. Keila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting. Seeing what my father did, you were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an Admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Yeah, I noticed that. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. <laughs> the whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of Geth. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. And we get two Paragon points. She won't say Shepherd, anything else from there. For you? We you try to talk to her. She's just got to clean the engines. Talk to you later. So, the only thing that means that we could do on the Normandy is to go talk to Legion, but we're going to be saving that for the next episode where we will be tackling his loyalty mission. And with that, my friends, that is all we have to do. However, because we just got an amazing power for our girl Tally, we're going to head to the Shadow Broker base so we can actually respect that. Which means we're going to max out her energy drain, give her that heavy energy drain, the Quarian Engineer Specialization, and Combat Drone Explosive. Uh, we're going to ignore AI hacking. I've mentioned it before. It's just not that useful on Insanity. It really isn't. It'll take something out of the fight, but because of how aggressive we have to play, that thing was probably going to die at a moment's notice anyways. And we have one more stop because I want to make sure of something real quick. And that, my friends, is I wanted to check to see, and yes, we can. So even though it looks like 5 out of 5 that you've maxed out your tech damage, I thought this was the case. No, because of DLC in the Legendary Edition, it's actually 6 out of 6. So we're going to go ahead and because of the next uh, place that we're going to is going to rely, we're taking Tally and Legion, obviously. Uh, we're going to grab that tech damage, allowing the, her energy drain and um, uh, his drones and all that to do more damage, which is perfect for us. And that, my friends, is the end of today's episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out to those of you supporting the channel by watching the premieres. And over on Patreon.com slash Online. without you, these videos wouldn't exist. Also, a 
huge shout out to those of you liking and leaving comments. Uh, I'm really, really hoping that someday these videos will end up doing well and might help some people experience the game for the first time and get everything they need to get and also just enjoy it and have fun watching it. So in the next episode, we are going to tackle the final loyalty mission of Mass Effect 2, Legion, A House Divided. Thank you so much for watching and remember, never give up, never surrender to warmongering quarians. Goodbye, everyone. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's great.